Hi, I am a happy camper because I went shopping. I hardly ever go shopping, but today I went to the Dollar Tree. Check out the stuff behind me. And I did a Christmas haul, so I'm going to share what I got with you. Okay, some of the stuff I can use all year round. And the other stuff is going to get me through Christmas. So are you ready? Okay, let's go. Okay, this is the favorite of the day. Fairy wings at the Dollar Tree. A set of fairy wings in pink, purple, and blue. And this one I found an aqua skirt to go with it, and then another blue skirt with the tool and the ribbon trim. They're going to love it. They're going to love playing dress up when they come to Gramps and Grammy's house and can play fairies. So here's the pair, the pair of purple, and there are two skirts. That's the one, and here's the other one fairy skirt. How cute is that? A little costume for two dollars. Wings and a skirt. Okay, you can't beat that. Check it out. These cute little boxes. Santa's workshop. I'm going to put some gifts for the grandkids in these. I thought about hanging on to them and painting them and decorating them and getting them all cute for next year, but, and I thought, no, I have too many other things to do. I'm going to use them to put some of their gifts in for this year. So what gifts will I put in there? Well, actually, these jumbo cards sets are perfect to go in the boxes. Okay, these are the other ones. My one granddaughter loves Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. She is getting that. Here's PJ Maxx, Captain America by Marvel. No, I think I'm picking up the wrong ones. These look really, really cool. Maybe I'll open them after I get finished showing you all the other stuff. Okay, Blaze. I showed you those in my other haul, the one my husband did. Well, today I got to go through the store. And then the Paw Patrol. Okay, all the kids love those cartoons, so of course they'll love the cards. I got gift bags because I was out of them. So some of their gifts will go in here. Okay, over there in the back are Magic Art Scratchers. So for the grandson, he will get the Paw Patrol and they just scratch off and then there's the My Little Pony scratch offs. Okay, uh, this is a door hanger, but I think it will make a very cute decoration on a special gift. It will go on a gift bag and that would look really pretty. Okay, I also got two stockings for a dollar these are little. I can use these to put an ornament in as a gift. I have four kids, so I have four stockings. Or I might just use them for the Christmas page of my scrapbooking book. Because something like this would be great to tuck souvenirs, mementos, um, small pictures in. And I got some small bags. Three for a dollar. My favorite ones are back here. The Norman Rockwell Santa. Look at that. I love it. So there's three old-fashioned Santa gift bags. Where's the third one? There he is. It's like trying to find Waldo. Look looking through the iPad screen. Okay, and then 
the tissue. I didn't see any colored tissue, so it must have been hiding or they're out of it. Tape. Then 10 gift bags for a dollar. And I can use these all year long. And then I like these because I like the handles on these. And it's three bags. Three bags for a dollar. I got one roll of Minion gift wrap. And for Halloween. Okay, look at that. How cute. So those could be for a costume or just for dress up. It's got spider webs and skulls. Okay, I found these cute cold packs for kids. A ladybug and a goofy face. So those will go in the freezer and if the grandkids get hurt while they're here, then I can pull it out and that will help hopefully cheer them up and make them happy. Okay, I also got some Sesame Street die cut shapes. Best Pals for doing scrapbooking. I got a beautiful box to put a gift in. Anybody love paddle ball? Okay, well I used to be a champion at it, so I thought I'd give it a shot again. Glows in the dark. Stars and necklaces, so we'll see what I can do with those. I'm going to make a mermaid garden for the counter in the bathroom for the girls to look at. It's going to have seashells and some mermaid figurines. Okay, I needed something to go in those Santa boxes, and I got two matchbox cars for my grandson. Okay, and those will fit in there, and he never gets tired of having too many cars. It's okay, and this is going to be really cool to use for scrapbooking. It is a poster size map of the United States. And I'm going to have a lot of fun when I start doing some large scrapbooking pages. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you how big it is. Okay, I opened up the map and it is poster size. Okay, you can see how big it is. This table, this is a six foot table. There's the Sesame Street die cuts. There are multiple pieces of each one. Okay, so here's the map. And I'm going to cut it up for the various scrapbook pages. Okay. So I think that's a good deal. One dollar for... And then I can mark on it where we've gone. I think this would be a really nice uh, background for a road trip scrapbook. Okay, I got this little organizer case for one dollar. And it's pretty nifty because I have a lot of beads and little pieces of jewelry that I can put in here. So that was a great deal. I also found these alphabet beads that I can string together and spell out somebody's name or the street that they lived on or, or are living on or the city. Anything I want to spell out, I can string them together and then glue them onto the scrapbooking page. Okay. I got these little buckets and I need to open them up to show you how cute. <laughs> because I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. But they're supposed to be for party favors for like a bridal shower. Let's see. It says thank you. Wow. And then it comes with the little ribbons to tie around probably the handle. 
but I think I could do something else with them and I think it would be really cute to do something about a bucket list with them. Look at how cute for miniatures. Maybe I can use those for the fairy garden that I'm going to make for my granddaughters to look at when they come over. But anyways, I thought those were cute. So if you're having a bridal shower or even a baby shower, you can use these cute party favors. I got some stickers and the granddaughters are into mermaids. So this sheet has a lot of little mermaids and undersea creatures. So that's really cute. I might use it for my mermaid garden and I might not. I don't know. I might just give this to them and let them play with the stickers. I got, got this. This will be so cute to scrapbook with because look at the little girls. They're just like cartoon characters. And then they have the pants that you can put on them. So these are, this is a set of stickers. Oh, and little skirts and tops. So these are like paper dolls, only they're stickers. And what a cute idea. That would keep them occupied for probably an hour. Uh, or five minutes, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But it was, it was too cute to pass up. So I got it. The joy of coloring for those days when I'm losing my mind and I need to get my gel pens out and do some art therapy like after I finish this video. Okay, I got these little rubber bands because I can do my own hair with them or the granddaughter's hair. Or maybe I could do George's mustache with them. Yeah, and do like a Viking thing for Halloween. That would be really cool. He's got a beard now. I could do a braid in his beard for a Viking costume for Halloween. All right, and we're all ready. Or it's December. <laughs> He's listening to me. It's December. We're ready for next Halloween. Now, I love it because I'm usually never ready ahead of time. But this year, or for 2018, I am. Okay, I got some mermaid, no, nope, not mermaid, well, yes, there is one mermaid, there's Ariel. I haven't been drinking or doing anything, I'm just plain tired, that's pretty fun, I'm sorry, I am so out of it right now, um, I wasn't out of it when I was shopping, so I guess it's hitting me now, okay, these are going to be for scrapbooking, all the granddaughters love the Disney princesses. Okay, so those are going to be very cute, and they have confetti in them. So you can shake them up, too. So how cute is that? Okay, these will be for scrapbooking. Stamping. I can use some paint, some acrylic paint, probably, because I have a lot of that, and I can stamp hearts or butterflies onto my scrapbooking projects. 